Right, uh, hello. Um, now, by request, um, a solution to uh, problem six, part three from tutorial one. Right. So uh, we have uh, this piecewise defined function. Right. So there are three cases, and depending on on the case, uh, the function can take one of the three values. Right. So and. Uh, we need to, de to describe the functions of just one variable. So the, the first g of x is obtained from f of x, y by letting y be equal to 7. And the second is obtained from f of x, y by letting x to be equal to 2. Okay, so let us do the first function first. So how do we obtain g of x. So basically we let y be equal to 7, right? So we replace y here with 7. Well, the third condition basically happens otherwise. And this is our uh, g of x. So how can we simplify this? So notice that uh, the second case, uh, so f of x, y uh, takes value negative 1, whenever 7 is less than or equal to 0. But 7 is not less than or equal to 0, right? It's just nonsense. So which means that the second case just never happens. So in other words, g of, of x is either 3 if um, 7 gr is greater than or equal to x squared plus 1, or you can rewrite it as x squared plus 1 is less than or equal than that side. It's, it's really the, the same thing. And uh, 0 otherwise. So in other words, otherwise means that if x squared plus 1 is bigger than 7. Right? So that's the answer. And if you want to graph the dysfunction, basically you can, uh, in say, Desmos calculator. Um, so you can write it like this. So y is going to be 1, Sorry, uh, not 1, right? It's going to be 3 if x squared plus 1 is less than or equal to 7. Uh, 3 if x squared plus 1 is less than or equal to 7. y is going to be 0, all right, if x squared plus 1 is bigger than 7. x squared plus 1 is bigger than 7. All right, so here is the graph of the, this function. Well, uh, you could rewrite it if you want to be kind of more specific. Strictly speaking, it's not required, but if you want to sort of simplify it further, uh, so x squared plus 1 is less than, than so x squared plus 1 is less than or equal to 7. You can solve the, this for x, right? So subtracting 1 from both sides, you get x squared is less than or equal to 6, right? And x squared is less than uh, or equal to 6 means that x is less than square root of 6 and bigger than negative square root of 6. All right? So you can rewrite it further as g of x is uh, 3 if uh, x is less than or equal than square root 6 and bigger than or equal than negative square root 6 and 0 basically otherwise. So otherwise means either bigger than square root 6 or less than negative square root 6. And, uh, all right. But again, strictly speaking, I'm not sure, but strictly speaking, this is not required here. I mean, to solve the inequality for, for x. Although it would be nice, of course, to, to do. All right. Um, so I hope that this is clear. So let me explain the second function. All right. So the second function uh, uh, h of y is obtained from f by specifying x to be equal to 2, right? So h of 
y is going to be, now I need to substitute 2 for x. Okay, so let me start, start, start over. So it's going to be 3 if y is bigger than x squared plus 1. Now x equals 2. So 2 squared plus 1, 2 squared plus 1. Negative 1 if y is less than or equal to 10 and 0 and 0 in any other case. Other so this is slightly more complicated because there are three possibilities and not just two possibilities. All right, uh, so I guess the first thing to do is to rewrite 2 squared plus 1 as, uh, as 5, right? So I'm going to, um, to replace this with 5, right? But basically that's uh, really the answer, right? So h of y is a, fun is, is a function uh, that takes value 3 if its argument is bigger than or equal than 5, negative 1 if its argument is mm, less than or equal than 0, and 0 otherwise. Well, otherwise means that basically y is between 0 and 5. And again, so you, you can, if you want, you can plot it in Desmos calculator, sort of in, in the same way, right? So. Only you need to remember that in Desmos calculator, you have to s switch y and x, right? So now your, your function is a function of, of x, right? So it takes value 3 whenever the input is bigger than or equal than 5, right? It takes the value negative one when, whenever the input is non-positive. Negative one whenever the input is non-positive. And it takes the value uh, zero in any other case. So which means zero. There is the graph of this function. 